Train. My driver saw last night. Or maybe you're just stupid. I'm not scared. Purse didn't believe in your ghost story. His driver laughed. Neither did I. It was only a pretend ghost story on television. Larry was disappointed. But he was far too busy to be thinking about ghosts. It was dusk, and that evening he left the harbor. Larry knew where he was, even in the dark. Peter's farm crossing. We shan't be long now. He liked running at night. The whales hung beneath his wheels and the signal light shone green. Earlier, an engine was hauling trucks of mine, but one truck broke away and was left far behind. Barry broke the truck to smithereens. Lime flew everywhere. He puffed quickly to the nearest signal box. Larry's driver will try to explain what had happened. I'll see to it, but you better clean Larry, or people will think he is a ghost. Larry chuckled. Do let's pretend I'm a ghost and scare purse. That'll teach him to say I'm a silly little engine. George promised to help. Purse was being boiled up for his evening train. Larry's had an accident. Oh, poor engine. That means I'll be late. They've cleared the line for you, but there's something worse. Spit it out, George. I can't wait all night here. I just seen something. It, it, it looked like Larry's ghost. It, it, it said it was coming here to ward us. Ha! Who cares? Don't be scared. I want to take care of you. What's that? Let me in! Let me in! No, no! Don't boy the smokes on my chimney, Chim Chim! I'll shut it up, up, and up, break your... Oh dear, um, look at the time. I have to my coaches. <laughs> the two engines were none the worse for their adventures. Larry was soon cleaned, but Purse never returned. Well, 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 what do you know about that? Anyone would think that our Purse has just seen a ghost.